Nice Ryan's having a good hair day. But then, aren't they all? Oh, watch where you're going, man! Well, well, what are you shopping for? A personality? Actually, I'm here for Barbie. Tomorrow's the big day, and I want it to be super special. Big day? Could it be... <laughs> Valentine's Day! This is my big chance. I cut Ken off at the knees by blitzing Barbie with great gifts and tons of Ryan charm. Then she kicks him to the curb, and Barbie and me are a red-hot item. These'll be perfect for Barbie. <laughs> yeah, right. Got you some pretty flowers, Barbie. What'd you do, pick them at a landfill? I wonder what that hunksicle Ryan's up to. I'm looking for something guaranteed to wow a girl and make her dump her dopey boyfriend. I need a number 32! Chocolates. Life's like a box of chocolates. No, your face is like a box of chocolates. <laughs> do you do custom orders? Gee, none of these are right. Oh, Ryan! Uh-uh. This fantasy sequence is too good to share. Happy Valentine's Day, Bart. Hold it! Those aren't flowers. These are flowers. Thanks, Ryan. And that candy? Really cheaped out, didn't you, Kenny boy? Mm -mm. That hair looks yummy, huh? Uh, probably not a good idea to leave that yummy hair out in the Malibu sun. Whatever. Check out my card. Hey, Bob, you want the checkbook? Lousy, cheap sound chips! Ah! So was that the best Valentine's Day ever, or what? Wow, Ryan, you really went all out. Kind of puts the stuff I got to shame. You said it, I didn't. Although I was about to. Ken, I'd love to see what you got me. They're not much, but... <gasps> They're lovely! And these are the chocolates you've liked since you were a little girl. Ken, I can't believe you remembered. And there's this. Made it myself. Dear Barbie, you'll always be my girl. Love, Ken. Oh, yes, I will! Oh, Ken, you're the best boyfriend I could ask for. Happy Valentine's Day. Okay, this is totally different from my fantasy sequences. Mine, too. <laughs> Brought you some cookies. Your faves! Peanut butter fudge. Thanks, Raquel. But actually, my faves are chocolate. Anything for you, Barbie. But since you asked, I do need a teensy little favor. Could you teach me to be just like you? My plan is simple. One, steal Barbie's secrets. Two, win the Malibu fashion show. Three, Ken dumps her and we sail away on his yacht. Easy peasy. First, the runway strut. It's all about confidence. Remember, project fabulous. I just love being a mentor and helping someone improve, and Raquel's got so much room for improvement. Wait, that came out wrong. <laughs> Next up, the style switcheroo. A model needs to master the quick change. Huh? Now for the cute hair flip. It's all in the neck angle. Barbie, I am in awe. Teach me more. Flaunting the fierce. You know, using your face to sell the look. Okay, watch. Got it. I'm really following all of this, and it's because you're such a great teacher, Barbie. Yes, you are. Uh, thanks? <laughs> okay. 
maybe Raquel is laying it on a bit thick, but it's great having someone to train. And I have to say, she listens so much better than Taffy. Taffy, stripes never go with plaid. Last, the end of the runway twirl. You plant your heel, spin, and smile. Heel precisely 14 inches from the footlights. Check. Ow. Ow. So that's it. Everything you need to know about how to be a fab fashion icon. Any questions? Nope, thanks. <laughs> or should I say, thanks for helping me help myself to Ken. Poor unsuspecting hunk. You're about to get raquel right between the eyes. <laughs> oh, hey, Raquel. Project fabulous. Ah! I'll save it with a cute pear flip. <sighs> plant, spin, smile. Oh, plant, shin, file. Raquel, are you okay? I am now. How about we ditch this low-rent production and... Life in the dream She was holding out on me. I would have killed with that move. Oh! Love you, Barbie. for my job at Hot Diggity Dogs. Oh, no. Don't tell me that I was fired. Okay, I won't. <gasps> Come work for me. I could use the help, and you could skipperize my boutique. You had me at Skipper House. <laughs> Skipper's going to be great. Sure, she's been fired a few dozen times, but who hasn't? Well, I haven't. But to be fair, who's going to fire me? The oh, sorry. Yeah. You've been working so hard. How about I grab us a couple of smoothies? You know, to replenish our plasticites. Well, if it isn't Barbie Jr., how fabulous that you're working here. I may not have had a ton of success sabotaging Barbie's boutique. Okay, I've had no success, whatevs. But with a pint-sized Barbie, easiest thing in the world. It's like taking candy from a... Introducing the Glitter Fire! Hop in glum, hop out glam. I'm already glitzy to the max, so this is a waste of time. Just set your glitzification levels. <laughs> Let's see how well this thing glitzes when I... Oh, uh, you look shiny. I look like a disco ball. A hot disco ball, a bit, but still... Let's see how Barbie's signature perfume sells when it smells like stinkified skunk. Don't you point that thing at me! Relax! It's my patented makeup bazooka! Want a test drive? My makeup's already... Oh, wow. Really awesome. Huh. <laughs> You are. You're gonna die for my latest high tech wonder fun. <laughs> this will upgrade. Let you try on more stuff in less time. Hmm. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Raquel, what happened to you? Your sister. That's what happened. Customers are freaking out in there. It's a disaster. Sales have been lost. And worse, nails have been broken. <sighs> Maybe Skipper's not the right person after all. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, lovely! But the place was crazy before. Skipper, what have you been up to? Nah, uh, you know, little tweak here, little tweak there. Skipper, that is a maze. You're the best. Isn't she the best? I owe it all to Raquel. 
She helped me fine-tune my upgrades. Thanks, Raquel. So, how would you like to come work for me? Hmm. <laughs> Can I bring my makeup bazooka? I just jumbo-sized it. Sleepover's gonna be the best! I've been sleeping for two days straight to get ready for it. You guys made it! I've got this great pillow <laughs> fight! Oops. <laughs> I didn't know the power of my own pillow. Now, let me show you the Slammin' Sleepover app. It's a list of everything you need for the perfect sleepover. Scary stories, cupcake decorating, a pillow fight. Hello! Whoa, Raquel, all this for one night? Don't be cray-cray. My morning stuff is in the car. It was a dark and stormy night. They were all alone. Just then, the phone rang. <gasps> Hello? Ah! What? what? My hair appointment was canceled! Ah! Fact, Barbie's having a sleepover. Fact, when girls are scared, they jump into the arms of the nearest boy. Fact, I am the nearest boy. Mmm, strawberry. How do we look? Ooh, uh, maybe I'll just... <laughs> Who wants to try the Tootsie Tenderizer? It buffs and polishes your... Ah! Feet. At least your hair won't have any calluses. Goldilocks, this is Papa Bear. All clear in Sector 4, moving on foot to Sector 5. Proceed with caution, Papa Bear. There have been reports of angry squirrels in the area. Over! Watch for that, Goldilocks. <laughs> I mean, I mean, <clears throat> what do you think you're doing? Uh... Lurking with intent to scare another guy's gal. Well, not on my watch. On the ground, perp. Ugh. Get off of me. You're wrecking my hair. Stop right. resisting. You and your overgelled hair are going down. Overgelled? Next up, snack time. Who's up for making some cool cupcakes? Making? <laughs> what ifs? More for us. Wait, I didn't say I wouldn't eat them. Now it's a 1042, resisting arrest while obsessing over hair products. The only thing I'm resisting is a big doofus with a walkie-talkie. That's officer doofus to you, pal. I gotta say, your party's a little low on the wow factor. Whoa! Zombies! Barbie! Ken? You scared us to death. I'm sorry. You put this party over the top. I was totally freaked out. That's my cue. Ah, zombie! Pillow fight! Oh, uh. <laughs> Surprise, but I sent you a telegram a month ago. A tell-a-what? <laughs> Midge is my best friend from Willows, Wisconsin. Where I grew up, things are a bit behind the times there. They don't have computers or cell phones or even colors. I have the grooviest of news. I'm moving to Malibu. Wow, you look like a movie on that channel nobody ever watches. <laughs> Anybody hear that? Guys, this is Midge. What's up? Hey! 
Uh, hello? Gotta bounce. We're off to the skate park. Stacy's going to teach me how to grind an ollie. Check you later. Did you understand any of that? <laughs> how about a snack? Of course you didn't. <gasps> You're fully articulated? I can only do this. Ah! Great news, Barbie. I wrote a seven-act rock opera about you. Uh, uh, how about we hear that later? I have a guest visiting, Ryan Midge. Hi. Uh, Where'd you get those wig on threads? <laughs> uh, yeah. Right back at you, dude. I'll come back when Throwback Pal here is, well, thrown back. Va, 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 boom! Wait, I just got a brainwave. You could give me a makeover. Turn me from Flash back to Flash Fabulous! Awesome idea. Got my sheet music. Wow, Madge. It's Midge. If things between me and Barbie don't work out, we could maybe go somewhere sometime and possibly do something. <laughs> That'd be like crazy, man. Oh, we could go to the drive in, or the malt shop, or maybe even a sock hop. to Zuma for some surfing. I'll get the sunscreen. Oh, and I'll get my board. Let's hit the waves. <laughs> She's gonna fit in just fine. Seriously, does nobody hear that? Barbie. Oh, Ken, it's like you have some kind of superpower that tells you when I need help. <laughs> superpower. Wouldn't that be something? It is something. My Barbie sense tingles whenever Barbie needs my superpowered boyfriend abilities. With great power comes great responsibility. Okay, Barbie, I'll pick you up tonight at 7 sharp. Thanks again. Shouldn't you be at work? Excuse me? It's the middle of the day, Kenny boy. Don't you have a job? If a real man has a real job, then I'm getting a real job. Great, while you're at it, get me a real cold drink. Being me is hard work. Being a lifeguard <laughs> is a great job. Hey, youngster, it's only been 15 minutes since you ate. Ah, ah, ah. No swimming with scissors. <laughs> Sir? You might want to consider a suit with a little more coverage. My Barbie sense. Tingling. No! Here you go, Barbie. <laughs> Thanks, Ken. But the jar was already open. I was putting the lid back on. Let's make some magic. Give me fierce. Give me pouty. Give me momentarily confused. Love it, love it, love it. Barbie sense is tingling again. Spider! Ah! Ah! My hero. Thanks, Ken. All in a day's work, Barbie. Oh, it's just sweater fuzz. Commencing systems check, Commander Ken. 
boop, boppy, bop, boop. Roger that, Space Command. All systems are a go here. Over. Commencing countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Barbie five, senses tingling. 4, 3. Commander 10, what are you doing? Barbie needs me! Not again. about to watch my favorite movie, Sad and Romantic, the sequel. I thought as much. That's why I came prepared. Ah, oh, Ken, you are so thoughtful. It's like you know me better than I know myself. It seems I've tried everything. I'm never gonna have a real job. Hey, Barbie home? Uh-huh. Thanks, Kenny boy. Me, 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 me. Wait a second. Being Barbie's boyfriend is my calling. Hey, Ken, what are you doing? Let go. Whoa! Yep, and it's a pretty good job. Uh, I think my spleen is tingling. Nope, it's ruptured. Well, this isn't exactly roughing it, Chelsea. I wonder how Stacy's doing out there. And finally, tighten with a schnoggin wrench. Where is the schnoggin wrench? Oh, they always forget something. I'm earning my camping badge. There are three things I have to do. Build a fire, find food, and spend a night in a tent by myself. Maybe it'll work anyway? Yo, Stacy. We're all getting mani-pedis in the camper salon. Sure you don't want to join us? I need to do real camping. Hey, we're really camping. After this, we're going to watch a movie about the woods on the big screen. My idea of roughing it? A hotel without high-speed Wi-Fi. Ah! How am I supposed to make a fire with plastic sticks? Ah! Ooh, sorry, Mr. Squirrel. Nuts and berries for dinner. <laughs> Yummy. What? <laughs> so hungry. So cold. Wow, Stacy, you're so brave to spend the night in the wilderness all by yourself. Are you kidding? I love it out here. Couldn't be more comfy. You go, Stacy. Such a trooper. I know that I'm. <laughs> Cherished you believe for dessert. Yep. Nothing like sleeping under the stars. On a nice clear night. Barbie, I need to do this on my. <laughs> the Schnoggin Ranch. I'm a grizzly scout. I'm trying to earn a badge for helping humans. Or is it eating them? badge. So, Stacy, how'd you manage to camp out there all by yourself? Well, I did have a little help from a friendly bear. Yeah, right. A bear. Wait a sec. Who's driving the camper? She says she's earning her driving badge. <laughs> Ah, 
Barbie's sister. I wish. I'm Midge. I'm Nikki. This is Teresa. So you're the Malibu me. And you're the Willows me. Okay, wait, wait. What does that make me? Seriously, who am I? Is Barbie ready? We're taking her to the beach. Oh, that's peculiar. I'm taking her to the Malibu Macrame Museum. <laughs> I sensed tension and came as fast as I could. <laughs> Maybe you and Barbie could go to the Mac and Cheese Museum tomorrow. It's macrame? Fight, fight, fight! Having trouble figuring out who's Barbie's BFF, huh? It's me! It's me! It's me! It's probably not me. I can help. Who's ready to play? I'm Barbie's BFF! I'll ask a series of questions, and whoever has the most correct answers will be crowned Barbie's best friend forever. I've got this in the proverbial bag. I've known Barbie since we were in matching cribs. I hang out at her crib every day. I text Barbie so much, she's got a separate phone just for me. Here's the thing. Ah! All right, next question. What was Barbie's 37th career? Stewardess. Well, I guess the modern term is flight attendant. Golly, <laughs> we served I don't know how many types of sandwiches. Aren't these supposed to be one word answers? Wait for Midge. If Barbie was an ice cream flavor, what flavor would she be? Oh, pink! Uh, pink is not a flavor? Ugh. 1959! Barbie's middle name is Millicent! Sugar, spice, and... Oh, polyvinyl chloride! Barbie and the Rockers! Mermaid Fairy Princess! Oh, 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 me! Raquel! Shlon Poofa! George and Martha Roberts! The Moon! Okay, you're all tied up, more or less. So, there's one final question that will determine who is Barbie's best friend. You could win or lose it all. Or see what's behind door number three. Door number three! Door number three! Please, it's always some kind of reject prize. We're in it to win it. Okay, final question. What in the world? Barbie, they were fighting over who was a better friend, and I was all, ew, so shallow. But they were like, we need to pick a winner, so what else? What? They each think they're your BFF, Barbie. But you're all my best friends. I knew there wasn't a prize. Doesn't anyone want to hear the last question? Fire away. <clears throat> when did Barbie first get a belly button? What's a belly button? Hmm, even I don't remember. I know! What? I could have won Ken? <gasps> Thirteen years ago. Which you'd all know if you'd read Barbiepedia. Twelve volumes, extensive index, tons of Can great I just, uh, I've got to be mentioned in here somewhere. No, no right? right? I know. Seriously, not even a footnote? My BFF is coming to stay with us for a couple of days. How many BFFs do you have? You guys are gonna love her. Oh, and there she is. Summer! Barbie, it's been forever. You look gorge. Your place is a maze. <gasps> no way. Are these your sisters? They're adorable. Hi, I'm Stacy. Barbie says you're pretty good at tennis. Me? I'm okay. Do you play? You want to play? Let's play. You must be Chelsea. You want to skip some rope later on? That would be awesome. Skipper, right? How about a marathon session of Call of Fashion 3 after dinner? <laughs> cool. I knew it. They love her. I thought these things never ran out. Morning, Chelsea. You gotta grab a balanced breakfast. You gotta! Most important meal of the day. Ugh. What happened?
happened to you? Summer happened to me. I've got tennis elbow, soccer ankle, climber's knee, and football butt. Don't ask. Who builds a dream house with 36 hot tubs, but only one bathroom? Ah! <laughs> Summer ate all our food. I can't survive another game of surprise dodgeball. And I'd like to take a shower before I graduate high school. Come on, guys. It's just for another day. Hey, guys! Ah! Hey, Summer. Everyone here feels that perhaps you've been a little competitive. Competitive? Me? That's crazy. I challenge you to a vogue off. What? No. We were just scared. Worried I'll win. Lost your edge. You're on. Cage match! Cage match! Cage! Ready for an old school pose down? Oh, you think you can handle this? <laughs> I give, you win. Yeah, oh, that was so rad. That it is so awesome. Awesome. Yeah, you can do it. Summer, what's up? I'm outie. Oh, why? I know you don't like to lose, but come what? on. What? No! I just bought a house across the street. Now we can have pose offs every day. Later, skaters! of lemonade really hit the spot? Do you have anything sparkling? Uh, when the sun hits it, it sparkles. Ugh, this is Malibu. People want variety, excitement, the it factor. Not some tasteless yellow liquid from a cardboard stand. <laughs> Another Robert's family dream crushed. <gasps> Ooh, new store, new store. <gasps> Chelsea, this is a maze! How did you do all this? I think I know a little something about the it factor. Oh, love the logo. I wanted a mermaid, but that was already taken by some coffee shop. Well, I would love a lemonade, please. Can I interest you in one of our many delicious custom citrus-flavored beverages? Hmm, let's see. Oh, now that looks refreshing. Oh, I've never had one of those before. Whoa, I bet that is Yummers. Is that Ryan's CD? How generous of you. Ryan! Hey, 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 hey! I was just about to do a live set. Take it down the street, song boy. Now this is a lemonadery. Oh Give me one iced lemon latte with extra foam, almond shavings, a hint of lemon peel, marshmallow bubbles, and a tiny umbrella. Oh, and I want that in a chilled glass. Take a break, Skipper. Bad news. We're all out. I got one iced lemon latte with extra foam, almond shavings, a hint of lemon peel, marshmallow bubbles, and a tiny umbrella, all in a chilled glass. <gasps> For Kern? Thank you. You! Fine. I'll take the lemon berry dream cake with a tri whip topping and a giant spoon. None left. So sorry. I got a lemon berry dream cake with a tri whip topping and giant spoon for Ben? That's me. Lemon ginger gelato. Next shipment comes in Tuesday. Lemon poppy seed muffins. Just sold the last one. Lemon meringue pie. Fresh out. Lemons. Just lemons. What's a lemon? <gasps> Listen, Kelly, it's Chelsea. Why don't I take this crazy place off your hands? 
That's a lot of lemons. Wow. Now what, Chelsea? How about we go grab a drink? On me. What do you feel like? Lemonade. Just lemonade. It's like nobody enjoys the simple things in life anymore. Yeah, where can we get just plain lemonade? Yeah, Anyone know where I can get a cup of coffee? For lemonade. Okay, that's not good. Lemonade, 50 cents a cup. Come get your... Uh, uh, what's the point? It's not even cold. You can sell them with the drinks. Take it down the street, songboy. light beach reading. Okay, they're pretty much opposites. Summer likes to throw caution to the wind, and Midge likes to embroider caution onto decorative pillows. But today, they're gonna have fun together. Hey, Barbie. Ready to swim with the sharks? You said we were gonna do macrame. You can help me finish my sun shelter. Ready for some extreme hand gliding, Barbie? Or a rip-roaring crossword puzzle? I've got a five-letter word for boring. M-I-D. Let's do something together, like tossing around this generic flying disc. Sure, why not? Hmm, it could get windy. Windy? It's not the least bit windy. Yo! Sand in joints. That's why I always bring sand away. <laughs> What in the world? I know. Killer moat, right? I dug it as a precaution, in case the tide comes in. Check it out, guys! Seashells! How about we all go beachcombing? Love seashells. They make great throwing stars. I detest violence. But I love crafts. So, I brought my glue gun. Shells make lovely decorator picture frames. Ugh. Okay, here's something we can all agree on. Food! Oh, I only eat high-energy protein pellets. Each one's a complete meal. Mmm, my favorite flavor. Yellow. But I brought a delish spread. You can either have grilled goodies or a clam bake. Too exotic for me. Do you have anything a little more gentle on the taste buds? I've got a PB&J on whole wheat. Whole wheat? <laughs> you know I don't eat spicy food. Face it, Barbie. Midge is a total stick in the mud. What a stick in the mud have brought Sudoku. Level five. <sighs> We're wasting a perfectly good day. You two have to promise me you'll try to get along. Okay, I'll try macrame. But I'm warning you, I won't like it. And I'll try the shark cage. Just what I thought. <laughs> There's no way anyone could possibly... Oh, not love this! Isn't this terrific? Not only do you guys like some of the same things, you're really good at them. Good? I'm way better at macrame than she is. Prove it. A macrame off. Winner takes all. Let's do this thing. Bring it. Oh, yeah? Uh, I already brought it. I had to do today. Uh, 
It was totes on the tip of my tongue. <gasps> That'll have all my appointments on it for sure. <laughs> I knew it! Today's bath day. <laughs> Whew. Not a moment too soon. Bobby exaggerates. We do not smell that bad. <laughs> The herbal shampoo and styling gel are in the first floor salon. The exfoliating soap is in... I'll take it from here, sis. Barbie, you tackle Tawny. Chelsea, wrangle Blissa. Skipper, you're on taffy duty. Ugh. I'm heading up strategical logistics from the operations control center. Which means... It means I'm way overdue for a little soap and water myself. <laughs> so, why risk getting near the suds? Ugh. Gotcha, Taff. <coughs> oh, you're contaminating the air quality in here, Taff. <coughs> I really should have gone to the mall when I had the chance. I can't find my Tawny anywhere. Oh, Tawny. Bath time's just like an awesome day at the spa. <laughs> Please, what spa uses a bucket and hose? I know you're in here somewhere, Blissa. Ha! And I know just how to find you. Another month. For bar hey guys, can't wait to catch a wave. Less talking, more tanning. To the beach! Ugh. What is this wet stuff? Gross, get it off me! <laughs> Calm down, everyone. It's just rain. <gasps> rain? <laughs> I guess they've never seen rain before. What a bunch of cream puffs. Back in Wisconsin, we had rain, hail, tornadoes, and snowstorms. And we never let it ruin our 4th of July. The day is ruined! We can't even play catch with this generic flying disc. Or surf, or tag football, or beach darts, or hacky sacks, or sup boarding, or volleyball, or splunking, or claw dancing, or patty cakes. This is torture. <laughs> Good thing I always carry a supply of rainy day activities. Knitting, jigsaw puzzles, and everybody's fave, macrame! Or we can do the most fun thing ever. Go play in the rain, come on! Go out in that? 
Have you lost your mind? You'll love it! We can splash in the puddles and catch raindrops on our tongues. It'll be a blast! These guys need to learn that a rainy day can be a maze. When I'm in London, I go walking in the rain with my besties all the time. Although, the prince is a bit of an umbrella hog. Yep, it's raining cats and dogs. Ooh, is there a labradoodle? They're adorbs. Summer, did you put the roof up on your car? Cars have roofs? Come on, guys. The rain won't last much longer. Trust me, it's so much fun! This All is right. going to be so fun. Down. Let's go. Hold it. There's no way I'm going out in that disgusting uh, sky drool without proper protection. We look fierce. Bow with the fashion. Who knew? I'm not taking any chances. Let's do this. Okay. <laughs> I was ready to do some serious puddle stomping. And I was gonna look for night crawlers. Looks like your idea was a big flop, Barbie. Bomber! Guess we missed our chance to play in the rain. <laughs> Just so you know, you all look totally ridiculous. <laughs> on that wall, Ken. Anything for you, Barbie. Uh, uh. Whoa, whoa. Ooh, these look cute together. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is fabulous. I oh, love that's this. So cute. <laughs> Guess some guys don't like shopping with their girlfriends as much as you do, Ken. Once, Barbie and I went on a 38-hour shopping marathon. There is such a thing as too much food court. <laughs> what if I remodeled one of the fitting rooms? You know, to make it into a waiting area for the guys. Great idea. I'm on it. Welcome to the boutique. Be sure to check out our new Shine. line of oh, yeah. What's going on in there? Shine. Unbelievable. Come on. Yeah, it's incredible. Guys, rib eating contest starts in five minutes. Wow, Ken. This place is so guy friendly. Welcome to the Ken Den. Uh, you're okay with all this, right? Are you kidding? Are those ribs? Oh, it's so good. Oh, mm. Can we do this later? <laughs> yeah! Yeah! All right! So, Ryan, what do you think? Way cool. Barbie's a genius. Actually, it was my idea. Eh, the place is kind of tacky. And the ribs are fatty, and the portions are way small. Mm, so good. What's a girl got to do to try on some skinny jeans around here? Hey, no cuts. I've been waiting two hours. What? Move your plastic or you'll end up face down in the bargain bin. Done. The perf way to show off my new spring collection. Go team! Yo, Barbie. Your man Ryan just crushed it in the wing eating contest. <gasps> Ryan, your hands! Thanks, Barbie. Almost got sauce on my trophy. Ryan, my capris! Barbie, the Kendan is a disaster. Not hating, just stating. Barbie, if the Kendan's causing you trouble, it's gone like that. But Ken, 
You don't have to... I'm on it. The den is done. Ken, they're trapped in there. How awful. Awful? They've got big screen TVs and enough ribs to last them through the playoffs. We're trapped. We're trapped? <laughs> we want in. Oh, come on, we want to be trapped. <laughs> Money is in. I want to do something special for him for our anniversary. Which anniversary? Honestly, I can't remember. We seem to have a different one each week. What about a tiara? Chelsea, Ken's a boy. What about a blue tiara? Please, Chelsea, boys are into action movies, video games, and cars. <gasps> That's it! Is that what I think it is? It's beautiful. What is it? I want to play a game, but nobody will play with me. Will you? Aw, I'd be delighted. Come on in. It's cool, but it can be cooler. <sighs> Again? 26 games in a row. You know, give or take. Do you hear that? Um... How about we try chess? Backgammon? Poker? Poker? Blue is so last season. How about Kelly Green? Racing stripes will make Ken's wheels stand out in a crowd. Flames are so much cooler. If by cooler you mean lamer, how about a dragon? Now, that would be cool. Are you sure this is your first time playing poker, Chelsea? Absolutely. Next hand. Albuquerque Hold'em, Aces High, nothing wild. Wild cards are for preschoolers. <laughs> oh, Ken is gonna love this. Again. One, one two, two three. three. Again. One, one two, two three. three. Come on! <laughs> One, two, three. Ah! You sure you didn't hear that? Hear what? It's Stacy's fault. fault. I can't believe it. It's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Is that what I think it is? A one-of-a-kind, limited-edition, golden schlondpoofa. You're the best, babe. No, you are. No, you are. No, you are. No. You both are. Can we go for a spin? Let's ride. What's this button do? <laughs> that darn golden schlondpoofa. doing here? Oh, Raquel. Yeah. Did Barbie invite me, her coolest and most fashionable friend? Uh-huh. She invited me, too, her most coordinated friend in sports and fashion. May 
bridge, it's super important we get there by 3 p.m. Sharp. Agreed. Absolutely. No dilly-dallying. Maybe after we meet up with Summer and Raquel, we can... Midge? They were selling them by the pound. <laughs> can you believe it? So you want to check out the Sports Mart or the Racket Shop or Athletes Barn or Cleats or Us? Whatevs. I'll be looking at my phone. Hello? You want to have a fake conversation? You do? Me too. You two are in violation of the Malibu Mall loitering code. Well then, I guess we'll just be moving along. Could we maybe, um, pick up the pace just a little? Oh, of course. Oh. oh, I hate the idea of Summer and Raquel just standing around doing nothing and waiting for us. <laughs> You're violating Malibu Mall Fashion Code 25. Oh. Failure to cover your face with oversized sunglasses. We need to split up. Go! Oh! She went that way. Violation of Malibu Mall rule number 99. Ratting out your friend. He's not my friend! What do you think? UV protective and comply with Malibu Mall code 25. <gasps> Ooh! Flip-flops! Oh. oh! I think we lost him. I hope so. I jumped through a fountain to get away from that guy. Oh, you should have seen it. Code 24! Run! Failure to yield to our outrageous bargain! I'm not gonna let anything else distract me, Barbie. I promise. Wowie! Is that a cotton candy pretzel kiosk? Mitch! And it's 2.59. Whoa. You guys look... Busted. <gasps> Is there something I can help you with, officer? Violation of code 21. What in the world? Excessive good looks. You'll need to sign that. Thank you very much, man. Enjoy your day. Sweet. I've always wanted her autograph. So, what's next? Rock climbing, parkour, the supplement shop... How about a little shopping? Yeah! Oh. You sure this is a good idea? Milady, your new closet awaits! <laughs> Barbie, Barbie, your dim-witted male companion has been making unauthorized modifications to your wardrobe environment. Give it a rest, circuit head. It's okay, closet. I authorize the upgrades. You what? He could not build his way out of a paper bag. I built you. I cannot believe that this plastic-headed moron is my creator. It is so embarrassing. Closet! Did you defrag your hard drive? In a minute. Barbie, how many hours a day do you spend deciding what to wear? Barbie averages 3.25 hours per day. Hmm. I've actually lost 17 doll years because of it. Well, no more! I present to you the matching fashion machine! Perfect! Ooh! Awesome! Ah. I could have pulled that ensemble out of my USB port. Next up, the Mood Matrix. This baby determines your mood and changes the color of your outfit to match. Who has ever heard of a pink mood? I'm always in a pink mood. <laughs> And finally, the piece de la resistance. Ta-da! Imagine having all your accessories at the press of a button. Woohoo! I love it! You've done it again! 
again! Oh, no, you didn't. Socks with sandals, holiday knit sweaters, and sweatbands? Look at me! No! Oh, the horror! <laughs> it was working just fine a moment ago. You dollar-eating dollar-eaterator! Give me that purse! Here, Midge, let me help you. Why, you? I'm sorry, Barbie. I've ruined your closet. And even worse, I've lost my last dollar in this thing. Give him my old like this. It's okay. You'll be okay. Ha, ha, ha. Shoo, shoo, canine. Pay no attention to the robot behind the curtain. What in the world? Closet, what is the meaning of this? I, he, you... <laughs> I am so sorry, Barbie. I was threatened by Ken's brilliant modifications. Oh, Closet, there's room for both of you in my life. Now, don't you have something to say to Ken? I'm sorry, Father. Ken. I mean, Ken. I guess I forgive you. Hey, who's up for sherbet? Me, 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 me. me, me. me. Oh. Hey there, cutie. Do you know an IT specialist because you're making my CPU malfunction? to help forge lasting peace between your two countries. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, Ambassador. I have to go. I'm sure both of you will work out this little spat. What's wrong, Chelsea? I don't feel so good. My plastic feels warm, my tummy hurts, and I've got these spots on my face. Ugh. Did you try using a wet cloth? Uh-huh. Mm, I'm afraid you have to see a doctor. <clears throat> I said we do need to go to a doctor. <gasps> Weren't you a doctor? Right. <laughs> Ooh, cake. So sorry for the delay. The doctor will see you now. Finally. Right after you finish filling out these forms. Ooh, and these, these, and these. Done. Great. What are you? Oh, what are your symptoms? I feel hot and dizzy and woozy, and I've got these spots. Oh, and now my wrist hurts. What do you think you're doing? I want to help. Helping is my thing. Skipper never wants to do anything. The Wi-Fi is down, so I have nothing better to do than bust Stacy's chops. It's my thing. <laughs> Let's see if we can figure out what's wrong with her. Hop up on the table, Chelsea. Table? I got it. The first thing we should do is check your vitals. Hmm. I don't hear a thing. Perfect. Yeah. What's next? Uh, <sighs> nurses? <sighs> Reflexes? Yikes! Right. Ah! Oof. Perfect reflexes. Now we'll get to the bottom of what's wrong with you. The sweeper passes up nope. the striker. Seen it. Aha! Uh -huh. Chelsea, I'd say you were suffering from plastic pox. Is there a cure? Of course. I'll need 219 cc's of pinkacillin. Stat! <laughs> Stacy, that's my horse doctor needle. <laughs> Skipper, that's my elephant doctor needle. Much better. Barbie, I'm scared. It's all right, Chelsea. It only hurts for a second. Ouch. Hey, I feel better already. Thanks, Barbie. What in the world? Oh, no. It can't be. We
we've got plastic pox! I'll go get the pink acillin. It only hurts for a second. <gasps> ah! <laughs> yet, Barbie. Oh, Summer, it's not about winning. I just love game night. Fab friends, food, and fun. You want to roll, Barbie, while we're still awake? Jinx! Okay, now Barbie won. Uh, I'll go pick those up. <laughs> wow, we are really bad at this. I think we've played every game in existence. Wait! I have one more Amaze game upstairs. I call Barbie's partner. You can't. I reserved that spot for all of tonight and forever. Ah, oh, Ken. Bet you didn't reserve being her handsome game-getting chaperone. Uh, no? <gasps> Ryan, we're exceeding the elevator's one tall occupancy limit. Then we better stand super close. <laughs> Oh no, we're stuck! There's gotta be something we can play now. There's just gotta! How about charades? Hmm, I can't believe there's music, snow cone, and makeup emergency buttons, but no help button. <laughs> Go figure. We're gonna die! We're gonna die! <laughs> Relax, Ryan. Our friends will notice we've been gone and rescue us any second. 18 words. Fall fashion sale at Malibu Mall, but they're all sold out of the cool boots in your size. Yes! Another point for us. How does she do that? We're up, Raquel. Let's do this. High heels. That's not how you play. You're supposed to act out the word. That's how I play. We're gonna lose. Whatevs. Our turn. Four words. Uh, you're holding up four fingers. That's all I can do. I don't have fully articulated fingers. <laughs> <laughs> We're goners! I'm going to die before I truly lived. Before I confess how much I love... Myself. I love you, self. I love, love, love you! I demand a teammate who plays by the rules. I want a fully articulated one. Anyone up for kick the can? No way! No. Hmm. Listen, Barbie's been it. gone for a suspiciously long time. What? Everyone, listen. Barbie! Too high pitched. Sounds like Ryan. Barbie! My hero. Hey, what about me? One word bathroom? That's right. BRB. Hello. Raquel, we're over the one doll limit. Oh no, we're stuck. Oh, yes, we are! Ah! Hey, hey, life in the dream house! Oh, yeah! Life in the dream house! Life in the dream house! I understand. I am so sorry. What is it? Seems I'm no longer welcome at the Malibu airport. Apparently, I've been causing riots of fans, paparazzi, and well-wishers, and causing massive delays. Now how will we travel the globe? Wait, weren't you a pilot? Wait, wasn't I a pilot? I'm gonna need my own jet. Could you people read a little more quietly? Sorry, Raquel. Everyone got it? Got, got it. it. Quiet! Ah! Great job, 
up, guys? Oh, no. Barbie, you're putting something together. It's a jet! And you didn't even need my help. How about that? I'm feeling a little woozy. Well, you could help me bracket the nose assembly to the fuselage. I'm on it. <laughs> Pull back the steering yoke and depress the wing flap pedal. Hmm, steering yoke, steering yoke. Oh, thanks, Chels. I forgot. <laughs> I think I get air sick. What can I get for you, hon? What do you have? We've got a greasy double hamburger with onions, an anchovy and artichoke pizza, and creamy clam chowder with extra clams. Yes, yes, and yes. That'll be $47. What? We seem to be hitting a wee bit of turbulence. <laughs> the course deviation indicator and pull back on yoke accordingly until... Ah! Hmm. Ah! That wasn't so hard. <sighs> Thank you for flying, Air Barbie. Please be careful when opening the overhead bins, as some of the contents may have shifted while in flight. Woohoo! I wanna go again! That jet is a menace! I'm going to take this up with the zoning board, the mayor's office. Now, what are you going to do with this monstrosity? 